What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about the loop instruction. So let's get started. Let's open up MU8086. Now this is the way a loop instruction should look. You should first uh, create a uh, label name. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to call my top and it has to end with a colon, right? And the loop instruction is going to end with the actual loop instruction with which is L O O P hit space and type in the label name, which is top in this case, you can name it whatever you want. So this is the shell of a loop instruction, right? Now the way it works, it uses the CX register as a counter. It'll keep running the loop until the CX register is equal to zero, then the loop stops. So you can type up anything in, the, in between here and until the C X register is equal to zero, it'll keep the loop going. So I'm going to give you guys an example of that right now. So let's uh, let's make it print five on the screen. So first thing I want to do is move into uh, DL, the value of five, right? Then we're going to add into DL 48, so it converts it to character five. So it, it prints character five on the screen. Now let's use the print character code, which is move into AH. 2h, right? Then we're going to do an int 21h. Now here, this is the code for print character on the screen. It's, it prints whatever is in the DL register. So that's why we moved integer value 5 into DL. We added 48 to DL to, to convert it to character 5. This is the print character instruction, so it should print character 5 on the screen, right? So the way the, the loop works, it's going to keep printing 5 on the screen until the loop ends. Let's give the CX register a value. So we, we have to give the value of the CX register outside the loop. I'm going to show you guys why in a second. So first, let's uh, move into CX, the value of 5, right? So now the CX register has a value of 5. So basically, when we run the program, it should print the character 5 five times, right? Now the first thing this loop instruction does, it subtracts one from the CX register. Then it also compares uh, CX to zero. If CX doesn't equal zero, the loop continues, right? So the loop will just jump back to this label spot here, right? So let's get started. Let's hit emulate. Let's hit run. As you can see, it printed out five, five times, right? So that's the way it works. Again. Uh, it, it'll uh, do whatever's in here, right? It, once it gets to this loop instruction, it subtracts one from CX. Then it makes sure that C, CX is not equal to zero. If CX is not equal to zero, it continues back to this top or this, to wherever it label and it keeps going until CX is equal to zero. So uh, let me oh, demonstrate something else. A uh, common error I, I see a lot is people uh, try to give a CX a value inside this loop instruction here. Now let's say I move into CX, right? The value of 5 inside this loop instruction here. What's going to happen is the loop is going to continue and it's going to never end because it's going to keep adding 5 to CX in the loop. So let's hit emulate to test it out. Let's hit run. As you can see, it just keeps going and going and going. It'll never stop. Or if you guys uh, use the increment CX, and here it's never going to end either because it's going to keep incrementing 1 to CX. So let's hit play. Let's hit run again. As you can see, it's going to keep going and going. Every t Anytime you guys want to uh, give CX a value, you have to do it outside the label. So you have to do it outside the label and have it on top of here somewhere. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.